What's going on you gamers? Today I'm going to be bringing you a build for Liza P that I think is absolutely amazing. It devastates enemies, it completely destroys bosses and it's just a whole bunch of fun to play. I'm going to show you some footage in the background that you can see now showing me tearing things to pieces and having a lot of fun whilst I do it. I am far from the best at this game because I'm used to rolling and dodging and I have never played Sekiro in my life so blocking as much as you're expecting in this game I found was definitely not second nature. As such I made sure I put some builds together, found some really powerful weapons and this one I think is probably one of the best in the game. The weapon that we're going to be using is going to be one we've created ourselves by combining the handle and blade and this time we're going to be using the live puppets axe blade and the booster glaive handle. These work amazingly well together. They create a technique build that you're going to be able to get all the way up to A scaling if you use a technique crank and to me this is a technique build that definitely feels like a strength build. It's large, it's pretty heavy, hits like a truck and has some great fable arts to it, especially the one that's on the handle whereas if you want to stay and charge it up a little bit you're then going to be able to release it to do some really nice one shot damage. On this test dummy you can see we pull out some ridiculous numbers and it has some great range to it. Also we're going to be combining this with probably the most overpowered legion arm in the game I would say and that's going to be the puppet string. This thing when it's fully upgraded is a menace to pretty much everyone and can really make some of the tough encounters much much easier. In fact halfway through this footage I realised that I was using the wrong amulets. If you were going to put this build together try to put something on like a puppets destroyer amulet whenever you're going against that type of enemy. Carrier's amulet early is definitely going to help you out because the weight is very heavy with this build. An extreme modification amulet I found also works ideal. However you could swap in and swap out something like a life amulet because that's always going to make tackling those enemies just a little bit easier and give you a little bit more leniency in case you're getting tapped every once in a while and taking some damage. But this weapon does so much ridiculous damage, the numbers are crazy and like I said it very much seems like a motivity dash strength build. It's pretty heavy, hits like a truck and has some great fable arts to it. Especially the ones on the handle that allows you to kind of power it up, you're then going to be able to release it to do some really nice one shot damage. Jumping over to the P organ, a kind of skill tree going on, I found and some fable slots, giving it an enhanced fable attack worked amazing, and chucking on a link dodge with enhanced fable arts attack also worked really well. Remember, this is just a guide though, if you want to deviate, you very well can, as you can respec at will later on. Grabbing yourself an extra amulet slot with enhanced weapon attack, I would say is pretty much a must, as well as an enhanced charge stagger and being able to grab yourself some more cells. Honestly you don't have to follow them exactly as I've put them, this is just what I've put together at the moment, adapt it to your playstyle but I would say definitely spec into that damage around the fable arts and give yourself a bit of extra stagger as well as probably some versatility because that will help you build out in the long run. Now for your stats you're definitely going to want to focus on vitality, vigour, capacity and your technique. Mine here are probably not ideal, I'll have to spec out a little bit, but Vitality you're going to want well over 20 I'd imagine, your Vigor probably above 14 or 15, Capacity over 20 and your Technique about as high as you can actually get as long as it's still managing to give you some nice numbers. Remember for your Legion Arm, Puppet String is just ideal for this build, it's good all the way through the game but once you start upgrading it maxed out, so with that attack link, that's when this thing really shines. It does some incredible damage with this as it scales to your weapon, making it probably the most powerful legion arm in the game, in the right setups, with the right build, with weapons like this that hit incredibly hard because of how heavy and damaging the actual weapon blades are, or hits. But yeah, hopefully that's helped a few of you guys and girls out. Let me know in the comments if you found any weapon type combos that come together. And as always, for all things gaming, take care. I'll see you next time.